Hi there YouTube, this is Spock. How are you doing on this third day of 2016? Here in the Netherlands outside it's zero degrees Celsius means that it's almost freezing. The roads are very slippery and you know people are advised uh, to take big caution if they go on the road. Nevertheless, a fantastic day to make a review about a device that most of you never saw before. Never even probably know that it existed. And you probably watched, watched some James Bond video uh, film and you saw the device in there many years ago. And if you just saw it because you just watched the old James Bond video, then this is what you're gonna see today. A device that was used way back in a film uh, in a James Bond film and I have it here okay I have it for a long time already and this device in fact is running Windows 98 this is very this is this is kind of prehistoric this is a prehistoric computer well not really but a prehistoric multimedia computer because this thing, it can play music, it can uh, play some MPEG video file, MPEG 1, you know, the things that Windows 98 could do. It can uh, connect some USB stick, you know, the drivers are in there, so you can connect a USB stick. But let's not talk too long, because you see it, you see two devices here in my hand. And in fact, the first one is my peer tablet. Well, Windows 8 tablet. But um, this thing here, that is what it's all about. This little sexy device. No, it's not metal. It kind of looks like metal, but it's, yeah, it feels a little bit. I think the bottom, well, no, I I'm not even sure, I think. This is plastic, right? There's also a deep scratch in here. I also gifted a, a glossy coat not so long ago. So it kind of looks decent. It looks really nice. Just like when it kind of came out of the store. Here you can pop in, if you want, of course, a Wi-Fi card. But these Wi-Fi cards, they can mostly only connect to um, open wireless networks and uh, they will have problems with WPA. As you know, um, that was also an update that Windows XP got at a certain moment, SP1 and SP2 to you know get on, on the internet. In my uh, previous video about the Compact Armada, in my light version, um, I also had to, you know, I could not connect to WPA, uh, WPA networks that is the security of the of the router and with a simple update that you can download at Microsoft you can then simply um, yeah get it right you know and then it will connect but it's not about that computer but I'm just telling you in case you're also like kind of playing with Windows XP and with old systems but I'm gonna show you uh, what this is and make no mistake this is Touch screen, huh? take a good look at that. You see a little bit of reflection. I will turn it like this. What is it saying? Oh, it's counting the RAM. It has 32 megabyte RAM. And we're booting up. Windows 98. It will probably run some uh, scan disk. No, then I shut it off correctly. And you can see the name of the of this little yeah. What is it? This is a netbook of of the 90s. You know, guys with a lot of cash had things like this. I was so lucky to get it, you know? I was so lucky to get it. And this thing is touchscreen, eh, peeps? 
Oh, I must put in the password. Uh, what was the password? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm in. That was the startup sound that you just heard. Here, heard. <laughs> and I've kind of the same setup like I have uh, on my other PCs. Only the Rocker Dock I should still put in here. So I'm gonna pimp up this system a little bit and then uh, I might show it again to you. But this is uh, this is it, and it's, <laughs> it's booting up. So there you go. I just opened my computer, so you can get the idea what this is. Uh, wait a minute, let me see something here. Oh yeah, to get to the right mouse click here at the bottom or at the back, I mean, you have two buttons and then you just press that one and then you get right mouse, mouse click. You see that? So at least I think it was this one back. You see? Look. And then we go to properties and this is resistive screen so in fact this is not a capacitive screen and uh, this thing for that time had a drive of one gigabyte just think of it man one gigabyte hard drive wow fantastic wasn't it and this thing around uh, windows 98 and it can play music I'm not sure if I have music on here. Let me see if we have something. You see, you can control it. So all you guys thinking that tablets and, and so that they came uh, after 2010 or so, you know, all you young generation, you know, seeing all these, these, these things that you take for granted, you know, they, these were the first devices of them. These were the first. And there were already people out there having these these devices you know in the james bond video this was also uh, i think i have music on here and this is here uh, in fact you must uh, connect this to uh So this is it peeps, uh, a fantastic little device that you probably cannot find anywhere anymore. This is a, a fantastic collector's item, you know, and uh, let me know if you, <laughs> if you want it, because uh, this thing is kind of, uh, it, it has a, a high place in my collection. So yeah, I can understand if there are people out there that just want this thing to you know to play with and to you know see what they can do with it of course we also have this thing and this you can plug in to the machine there's a kind of plug here you see that and here at the back and you just plug it in and then you have an extension that will give you a printer port by the way we have two I think we have one USB port but I think thanks to this oh no no and here you will have what is this I think PS2 and I don't know what the other one is the one at the right it looks like not even sure of course here we can connect the thing to a, to a monitor. It has a VGA out, so you can connect it connect it to a big big screen. That was also fantastic for this time for that time. So this thing can also be connected to a big uh, TV screen. <laughs> but then again, it's running Windows 98, and the thing has 32 MB RAM. Peeps, 
What can we do with that? We cannot install uh, 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 Linux on that. Linux will ask us if we are crazy. <laughs> so yeah, this thing will stay a little collector's item with a smile. We can look at it and we can say, wow, it's fantastic that a device of that time, you know, this thing was built somewhere in, I think in 1999. So just think of how many years ago that is. And uh, yeah, I think it's beautiful to see a 17 year old device looking kind of new, sounding good. Listen to the sound. You hear that? Sounds like a factory. It has this, this, this little sound that gives the feeling that it's very powerful. And it was, this was a powerful device for that time, uh, 32 megabyte RAM. I told you in 1996, uh, my, 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 my home PC had 32 megabyte RAM. I had a 64, uh, no, I had the Sound Blaster 32 sound card in the thing. And I was creating music. I was burning CDs at a certain moment because in 1998 I got my first CD burner. I still have the thing, the AP Shure Store 6020. It should be there somewhere. I don't know where it is. But the thing still looks like new. But I burned so many CDs with it that it's not. Uh, yeah, I had to, you know, insert a new Scusi, uh, Scusi drive in it. And in fact, it still works, but you can burn over the parallel port that's how things went at that time you know you could connect this uh, burner straight up to the parallel port for instance of this little machine and then you could burn music too you know that was a fantastic thing to do at that time and it still is in fact but we are all listening to mp3 and to quality music that in fact was so downgraded you know all these things that we listen mp3 is kind of really you know uh, low quality music that we're listening to anyway peeps i need to end this video i want to thank you for watching i hope you like this one i, I you know i don't see these things online too much i think i made a video way back about this thing i think there's maybe one more video about it talking about it so uh share this video like it and of course i love to see you in my next video again thanks for watching bye bye